Hello and very welcome. In today's video I'd like to talk about my update of my riser tool which I previously made in version 1. Uh, now I added some new effects and also new transitions and some generation effects as well. Um, the effect is supposed to build um, easy transitions. You can use it on the main master track but also you can use it on separate channels. So let's jump in. So the idea is that you have one knob where you can control every effect which is highlighted here. So for example I turn on the high pass filter and now I can control with the knob the high pass filter. If I in addition for example like turn on the crush then it's a combination of high pass and crushing. And yeah, it makes fun if you uh, combine several effects. Um, let's do some crazy shit with also frequency shifting plus here. And crushing, why not? And reverb. Yeah, you couldn't hear the reverb um, very well because the crushing was on, uh, on, so it kind of eliminates the reverb. So, yeah, you have to check yourself what works and what not. I also added, besides the frequency plus, I added um, this new uh, generation, just white noise for example. Yeah, you can see you can have a lot of fun with it. Um, probably I'm going to add a general um, dry wet uh, to control the noise intensity. Uh, I'll add that later and upload the preset. Um, it just came to my mind um, while I'm recording. It makes totally sense to have a dry wet for those. Uh, I'm gonna add that. Um, and also you have these two, um, stutter and panning, and depending um, you can control with the strength, so how strong um, you will have it uh, left and right, and of course um, the speed. Somehow the speed is not reacting. <laughs> I have to fix that as well. <laughs> Alright, but the stutter should work uh, totally. Yes. It behaves like it's supposed to be. So, and also you can, so you can use the one knob. And you can, like, Uh, record the events easily or draw it in your uh, in your automation lane uh, but you can also activate this then you have just a straight one uh, one bar rise 
So when I, I activate it, it's going to rise or down automatically. Or you can also use um, the curve module here and then you can draw your uh, the behavior by yourself. So basically that's it. Um, it's a nice easy tool um, to create like real quickly uh, transitions. It can be snare rolls, it can be uh, everything on the master chain. Uh, it's a little bit like um, the yeah, baby audio transit, um, but I think it's great because it's uh, within Bitwig. So you can um, change all the settings by yourself um, if you want to. Um, yeah, basically that's it. You can download the patch from my Patreon page. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe. See you. Bye bye.